Well, praise the Lord. This is Bishop Warren Boyd, and this is Monday Motivation. This is our opportunity to give you a word of encouragement and a lift for your week. I read an article about Herbert Lusk II. He died last week at the age of 69. He's credited as being the, the first NFL player to kneel in the end zone and pray at the end of a touchdown. And while uh, that is remarkable and, and noted in his life, he says that's not the most important day. In the midst of what looked like a, a promising M NFL uh, career, two years after kneeling in the end zone and, and praying, he got up one morning in training camp and decided, I can't play football anymore. He felt God's call to preach the gospel, and he felt like he could not do both at the same time. And his father tried to discourage him from quitting football, so did his coach, but he could not be persuaded to continue to play football and then pursue ministry at the same time. He went on to become a, a successful pastor, uh, and pastored a, a vibrant church in, in Philadelphia and is uh, known in that area as, as being a, a dynamic and impactful pastor. And he always said that uh, going from the NFL to ministry was not a step down, it was a step up. He sets for us a, a principle in sacrifice for ministry now, we all may not be called to sacrifice to that degree, to quit our job and to go into ministry full time or to be a foreign mission and to give up everything. But we're all called to sacrifice something. And you and I need to ask ourselves, what are we willing to give up in order to fulfill God's call for ministry and in service? God doesn't all call us to do the same thing. God doesn't call us all to sacrifice to the same degree, but we are call, all called to make the sacrifice. God calls us to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and to follow him in order to build up the church, in order to advance the kingdom of God. Sacrifice of time, of resources, of talent, of gifts, all of those we're called to do in order to fulfill uh, the ministry that God's given us. And I hope that to this week, sometime, you, you, you and I will really think about what have we really given up in order to do God's will? Are we willing to, to give up what God wants us to give up? If we follow Jesus, we're going to have to deny ourselves take up our cross, and follow him. The, the rich young ruler was called to, to do much the same thing, but he would not give up all that he had in order to follow Jesus, and he went away sad. I, I hope that we will not follow that example, but follow the example of Herbert Lusk II, who gave up everything in order to follow Jesus and fulfill ministry. The old song says, only what we do for Christ will last. Only what we do for him will be counted in the end. Only what we do for Christ will last. Won't you make the sacrifice? Won't you think about, won't you uh, ask God to help you to do what he wants you to do in order to fulfill ministry and build up the church and advance the kingdom of God? This has been Monday Motivation. God bless you.